Hey friends, so it's another HVAC video. I'm gonna work on putting the rest of the conduit in. I don't know how far I'll get. Um, let me make sure I got audio. Yep, I got audio. So, uh, I need to run that conduit outside of the house. So let's go look and see kind of how this is gonna work on the outside, because that's gonna determine which side of that conduit it goes on. All right, so this is where the old air conditioning unit used to be. Um, there's a video being removed. So I think I'm gonna mount this uh, condenser unit on the outside. It's 38 inches wide and um, 52 inches, so four and a half feet tall. So I'm gonna put it on the, I'm gonna put it where the base of it's about right here. It'll come up to about right there. Uh, but that's gonna have to relocate. I'm gonna abandon that in place because you never know, I might need a 30 amp circuit over here at some point. And I'm gonna come out next to that and then I'm gonna redo this conduit so it's clean and that box is gonna move over here where it is uh, adjacent to the, the where the control hookup goes. Um, it's really easy to run this wire because there's a pull elbow there, but I'm gonna put the other pull elbow just to the right of it. So I'm gonna come over maybe three, four inches and down and that's an exhaust for uh, the range hood. Maybe not the best place, but it'll work. It's, it's fine. So, and it looks like I need to caulk around there. Eh, shame on me. Anyway, so let's go up in the attic and we'll drill the first hole and then we'll come out here and finish it. All right, so we're back up here in the attic. So I'm going to position the camera and then I'm going to work my way over there and take the drill. And we got a nice long bit so I can find it. Um, I don't remember how thick the wall is over there. So let me, let me get it positioned. Let's get going. All right. So, you know, this is uncomfortable access, but I only need to be over here for a few minutes. So it'll be okay. And we're gonna put it right there and bring it. Actually, I think, ah, there we go. All right, so I know that doesn't look like much, but yeah, that's what we needed to do in here. So now I'm going to go outside and drill the hole that goes outside and uh, go set the ladder up. We'll be right back. Okay, so I got this drill set up and I'm up here on the ladder and I'm just gonna put this hole in. I need a screwdriver to pop that plug out, so I'll be right back. I just left it in the trash and moved on. All right, so that's there. So now let me go push that pipe through and I'll be back. Okay, so back up here with the glue so I've got I guess I'm just gonna push some stuff out of here when the time comes
Again, this isn't water pipe, so it, you just have to have some glue on it to hold it together. It's nice if it's waterproof, it's not critical. Although this is outside. And that's all there is to it. So this one's done. Uh, we gotta do the other end and um, then we'll work on the down part. So that's it for uh, this part. Let's go look at the other end. So we're back over here where the lily pads are, as I call them. These are my little access points that I could use to get around the, the garage. Um, so I've identified that I wanna come over 16 to 17 inches from that pipe towards the camera. So let me figure out how to maneuver my well-fed self over here. Well, we can come over a little further because we're going to have to dog leg around it. So we're going to come over to roughly 20 inches. And then we'll go do our magic on the other side. Now, it's not going to be as exciting up here because I've still got to connect the pipe over and that's going to take time and it's probably going to need to it's going to need to be maneuvered but no big deal we can go work on the outside all right so we're on the outside and one of the reasons you drill the pilot hole from the inside is it it always kicks this the paint and whatnot out so this reduces your rip out So it's a little bit thicker there. So that basically gives me poke through. So at this point I can push a piece of pipe through there and that's what I need. So let's go work on it on the inside. So I have some leftover one inch pipe and I'm gonna use it first because the price is right. So it's a little messy, but again, it really doesn't matter. It's going in the attic. It's not like anybody's actually gonna look at it up there. All right, so. The objective of this is just what you see here. And then I'm gonna come back and fasten this down. That way I can work on it on the inside in peace. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do is install these. And this goes a lot faster if you have a impact gun. Otherwise, you'll need to pre-drill these. Uh, and these screws may not be long enough. I thought they were, but I don't think, they're not looking like they are. No, they need to be longer, so that's going to, it'll hold it still, but I have to pick up some longer screws at Home Depot. That will be a tomorrow morning project. And possibly an order online so they can hunt for it instead of me. And these are metal screws, so it's no big deal. I'm gonna jump up from uh, whatever size these are to an inch longer. All right, so that's what we need for right now. That'll hold that still so I can work on them on the inside. I'll get longer screws tomorrow. All right, so we're in the attic and we've got the pipe and we're gonna just kind of crawl over here and look at it and see what we're dealing with. So, it's actually pretty much okay where it's at. It just needs to make a 45 degree turn, go over and connect to that one. So let me go get two 45s and glue them in place and just kind of see where it takes us. Actually, I want to get two 45s and dry fit them. So I'll be back. All right, so I'm back with my refer by 45s. And when you're doing conduit, you want to not have more than 360 degrees of turns between uh, your pull access. So you are far better off to use a 45 wherever you can get away with it. And you want to dry fit which is just simply put stuff together and see how it looks whenever you can. And I don't think I'm gonna need to do anything other than connect these. It looks like I need a piece that's 28 inches long, so let me go make that and I'll be back. All right, so we're back and gonna just dry fit this and yep it's all gonna fit so at this point I'll put my gloves on and start putting stuff together Remember, you do not have to make this waterproof, although it won't hurt anything if it is. So the first thing I do is I put together what I call the static. And the static is the piece that it isn't going to move. And then the next thing we got to do is position the dynamic, and the dynamic is everything that does move. And so, in this case, the dynamic is, this is going to be a little bit of a complicated assembly, so I'm just going to stick that in here. because what I need to do is this and this. And then I can turn around 
around and do this side. <clears throat> And because this is a little bit of a tricky one, I'm going to lube both ends or put glue on both sides. And you know, the really truly frustrating thing is there's the cable that I'm replacing. So at this point, we have completed the conduit from one end of the attic to the other, from gable end to gable end. And we still got some stuff to do outside. I'm not gonna do that today, so that'll be another video. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff on the other end of the house, so I guess we can go do that. Um. Okay, so I wanna reposition this box, and to do that, I need to unscrew it from the wall because the next thing that needs to happen over here is for the air conditioner to be placed. Now, you can put this in without placing the air conditioner, but the problem you run into is it's just going to look goofy. So, if I loosen this, I don't have to get behind it again. And these are reusable, so I will. Right back. This whip is um, very recyclable. Fine, we need it in there anyway. So I need to go and get a screwdriver so I can take this apart. Because uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna remove this box. Don't know what I'm gonna need it for, but I'm gonna leave it here because it's already wired. So that means I'm gonna take off that wire and that wire. And let me go get a screwdriver and I'll be right back. I need to get a plug to close that, and that's really it for decommissioning here. And that can be done with the air conditioner in place. So you always want to close up holes like that, otherwise critters will set up shop and um, they'll get fried in there. So it's just it's just bad form to let critters in your electrical boxes, and you'll regret it later. All right. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.